I lived at home with my parents into my 30s, but to be honest, I didn't make the most of that opportunity. I'm gonna talk about the things that I would do differently if I could rewind time in the hope that this will give you encouragement if you are living at home to make the most of that opportunity that you have. We see a lot of headlines, don't we, in the newspapers, on TV, about how hard it is for young people today to start out in life, start out in young adulthood. It's difficult, much more difficult for them to get start getting on the property ladder. It's more difficult to them to generate wealth. It's just, you know, in many ways, life is much harder for young people than it was even 15, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. In those articles, you'll see a lot of talk about how more and more young people, young adults, are remaining at home with their parents because it's too expensive to, for them to move out. And this is usually positioned as a bad thing, but I'm going to say that actually it's a good thing if parents are able to provide space for their children to remain in the house and if the, the children are welcome to stay in the house. Why do I say this? Now, the first and most obvious thing is the capacity that you have to be saving and investing. I should have saved and invested a lot more than I did when I was living at home with my parents. Unfortunately, my mindset when I was younger was very frivolous. I was just into having fun. I was into getting into all of the religious and political ideas and geeking out over these kinds of things. I wasn't focusing on saving an investment. And when you break it down, if say if you're earning £25,000 a year, that's a fairly low salary by you know adult standards, but for young adults, that's probably about average. Say if you're earning about £25,000 a year, you're probably able to save at least £1,000 a year a month, £1,000 a month, i.e. about £12,000 a year, assuming that you're not having to pay any rent at home. Think about that. You're at home for five years. That £12,000 a year turns into, what, £60,000 in f just five years. Imagine what you could do with £60,000. But obviously, you're not going to be able to do that if you're not focusing on the priority of saving and the, pr the priority of investment. So that's the first thing that I would do differently is that I would have went all out on the saving and, and investment when I was living at home with my parents in my 20s. Now, of course, in order to be able to have money to invest, you need to have a source of income. And this is the second crucial thing that we should be doing, you should be doing if you're living at home with your parents. You should be making sure that your, first of all, your career is popping. You should be working on your marketability in the job market. I know sometimes people don't want to think about these things, but when it comes to work, we are putting ourselves into the market. It's a job market. We're selling our labor. And those people who have got the greater amount of skills, the greater amount of expertise are going to be the ones generally, and, and who've got the confidence, are going to be the ones who are going to receive the greater salaries, the higher salaries. Work on your career, work on your marketability. If that means taking training courses, taking getting accreditation, do all of those sort do all those kind of things. Study. You don't even have to pay for that half of that stuff. Study, use YouTube, use the internet to learn about the fields that you're interested in. And related to that, of course, you might be a business owner. You might, you might want to start a business. Well, do that as well. Go all in on the business that you're starting. And of course, closely related to that is what we nowadays call side hustles. The job is one form of income or a business. If you're self-employed, that's one source of income. I'm not a huge fan of the whole side hustle, passive income obsession that a lot of our people have, but it absolutely is true that if you have, if you can diversify the sources of your income, your future is going to be a lot more secure. And the key message on this whole income thing is that income is not dirty. Income is not something to be ashamed of. We, everybody needs an income. And in this, this kind of society that we live in in the UK, it's down to you. Yes, the state will provide a safety net and make sure you, we don't fall under, which we should be grateful for. But you don't want to be living in the assumption that the state or anybody else is going to be providing for you. You've got to develop your abilities and your skills to be able to provide for yourself. That's real talk. Now, the third thing that's really important when you're still living at home and young is focusing on your personal development. And by this, I mean that, yeah, it's all well and good for you to be doing the career and the sources of income and the business savviness and all that sort of stuff. Great. Definitely need all that sort of stuff. Investing, savings, that's all important. But it's really important that you develop yourself inside you as well. Develop your character, develop your personality, get control over your emotions, understand yourself, develop your self-awareness, work on those inner your inner weaknesses that you have understand your strengths as a person and, and ma learn how to magnify those strengths and I say this because unfortunately a lot of people do get into their 30s and 40s and they find that they've not done any of this important work in inner work 
And so that's why we have so many, unfortunately, and I'm, I'm just going to say it, that's why we have so many people who are single in their 30s, into their 40s, even to their 50s. They don't want to be single, but they're single because unfortunately they've still got a lot of a lot of hard work to do on themselves and they've not done that in their youth. So it's really, really important, I would say as well, to work on yourself in your youth, work on yourself in your 20s. And of course, if you've got no dependence, you've got no other half to, you know, to be considering, then you've got all the time in the world to be doing that. So take that opportunity to develop yourself and develop the best version of you that you can develop to use that cliche. And the last thing I want to say here is that it's also really important that you're not just focusing on you, 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 individual you. If you're living at home with your parents, you should be returning, you should be respecting and honoring your parents, providing you with that space, respect them by contributing to the household. If you can contribute financially, great, do that. But you absolutely should be contributing with regard to doing work around the house, helping your parents with their day to day needs and their day to day struggles because they've got them just as much as you have. So it's really, really important that you contribute to your family, contribute to the well-being of your family in as many different ways as you can, because ultimately that's what we're here for. And I think it's a good thing that if you're able to stay at your parents when, you know, when you're a young adult, that's a great thing. That's what family is all about. Family is supposed to be an incubator to prepare you for life in the outside world. But life is all about family, in my opinion. So when you're a youngster, when you're a youth, you should be contributing and supporting your family in as many different ways as you can. And then when you start your own family, you should be training your own children to do likewise. So those are some of the things that I would advise you to do if you're living at home with your parents. Use the opportunities that you have. Utilize that freedom and that flexibility that you have to develop yourself in all the different ways that you can develop yourself, primarily and most importantly, your ability to generate an income and and be economically secure, but also develop yourself all around, your emotional development, your psychological development, your spiritual development, your physical development. Develop all of these things, work on all of these things, get in tune with yourself, get in tune with your surroundings, get in tune with nature, dare I say, and use those use those years so that you're ready to become an adult who's going to become a husband, be, going to become a wife, going to become a partner, a parent to help to develop and build your community. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your experiences in particular. I love hearing your comments, your insights into how you're playing all of these things that I'm talking about in my videos. If you're liking these videos and you want to see more, do make sure you like, make sure that you subscribe and make sure you watch the other videos. I'm building up a bank of videos on this channel. YouTube should should suggest a video here. Try, Try saying that quickly. It's not easy. And also there's a video here that you might be interested in. Take good care of yourself and I'll speak to you soon.